Well, hello, all my friends. Welcome back. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. My name is T and this is my YouTube channel, Crumpus T and Sewing. Today is finally the day that I get to share my review of the patina blouse. I'm so excited to share this review with you and get into all of the details of the fabric that I chose and what I did to the pattern and all that stuff. So you all know that I have been working on mock-ups of this for a couple weeks now. So I'm really excited to be able to share with you my final versions and to be able to give this review. But before I go ahead and give the review, I do wanna go ahead and read the description of the pattern so you could get an idea of what the pattern features. So the patina blouse is a collar V-neck button up top. The sleeves are full and the pattern includes options for a short sleeve and a long sleeve with a cuff and continuous bound placket. The pattern also includes two neckline depth variations as well and you're going to be using light to medium weight fabrics. It does not tell you on the patterns instructions or in the description exactly what kind of fabric it just says light to medium weight woven fabrics so i chose a lightweight vol and i also chose this light to medium weight rayon chalet fabric as well so those are the two fabrics that i chose and you're going to be able to see the difference in the drape of both of these and so that way you can get an idea of what kind of fabric you want to use for yourself because my vol is very it's not stiff but it's very much stiffer than this rayon fabric as you can imagine and i will say i do love the drape of the rayon much more than i like the drape of the cotton but it just depends on what your needs are and what you want out of your garment it's not like i dislike the cotton version you know the vol but i just like this one better so i definitely in the future if i make this again i definitely would make this in a rayon a chalet you know something like that because i actually like the drape better so i just wanted to go ahead and say that um in the beginning of the review so that you all know it does not call for a specific type of fabric it just says light to medium weight woven fabrics and then the notions for this you will need five to seven half an inch buttons now um the five buttons are going to be for the version with the short sleeve because you don't have to put buttons on those sleeves and then the the seven buttons will be needed for the long sleeve version because that's the version that you are going to be putting a cuff and uh, a bound placket on and then also your buttons and your buttonholes on. I did add the cuff, but I didn't add the buttons and the bound button placket. Now this pattern also calls for light to medium weight interfacing and you're going to need that for your collar and you will also need that for your facing as well. Now the one thing that this pattern features that it does not talk about in the description is um, it's the sleeves. So you have gathering on the sleeve head here. Let's see if I can show you. You have gathering on the sleeve head that the pattern does not mention here. So you do have that feature as well. So it is a little bit of a puff sleeve up at the top there at the head, but it's a, it's a very soft puff sleeve, which is really fun and really cute. So I really like this pattern for that reason. Now, in terms of the pattern pieces for this particular pattern, you're working with the front, which is cut out twice because you have buttons going down the center front. You're also working with the back. Now, the back is cut out um, into two sections. So you have a back yoke and then you have the bottom. And then you also have that detail in the back. Um, when you're sewing the yoke and the back together, there's some gathering on the back of that as well that you're going to be doing so it has this really cute gathering um, at the back um, between the yoke and the bottom piece of the of the back as well you also have your sleeve pattern which you're cutting out twice your back piece is actually cut on fold you have your facings you have your cuff if you're doing the long sleeve version, your collar, and then you have your 
your placket binding for the sleeve if you're doing the long sleeve. So those are all the pieces that you're working with. It's a very simple and easy pattern to sew up. And I really enjoyed myself making this, but there are some things that I do want to uh, talk about in terms of things that you might want to pay particular attention to if you sew this pattern, because I had an issue in certain areas and I wanna talk about that. But before I talk about the issues, let me tell you about the size I chose and all that stuff. So I did two mock-ups for this particular pattern. The first mock-up I did was a size medium. That did not fit me very well at all. It was really, really snug. Now, according to the body measurements, not body me measurements, sorry, according to the finished garment measurements that's listed on the instructions, I should have been able to fit that pattern, but I was not able to fit that size. So I had to go up to the size large. The size large was more loose fitting for me. It was more flowy. And then I will go ahead and put the measurements there, but it was more loose, more drapey, more, it was just better, especially for the garment that I'm wearing now. Before the Vol version, it wasn't so much drapey, but it was, I, I was able to get more room. I'm able to have more room, more room in the, the sleeves, more room in the, um, the side, the waist, the front, the bust, everything. It was just, it, it was just so much better. Now this pattern is drafted for a B cup and that is listed inside the pattern's instructions that this is drafted for a B cup. So I had to do a, a full bust adjustment and my full bust adjustment was one inch. I, it, that was a pretty large bust adjustment, but I had to do a one inch bust adjustment because like I said, this is drafted for a B cup and I'm a CD. So I had to do that one inch bust adjustment. I also had to do a sloping shoulder adjustment because I have sloping shoulders. And so I had to do that sloping shoulder adjustment. There was the issue of the pattern was just not fitting very well um, in the front. And I had some drag lines coming from the breast going downward. And so for the first version of the garment, I tried to lengthen the garment, but I forgot. So I lengthened the front pattern piece, but I forgot to lengthen the back pattern piece. And so I had to cut that piece off where I lengthened it at in the front. And so that basically made it so that I was back at square one <laughs> and I didn't actually have the pattern lengthen. So that's for the first version, that's for the vol. Now for um, the second garment, for the version that you see me wearing here, I actually succeeded in lengthening the front and the back. And so this garment was lengthened by 1.5 inches. And so after I lengthened the garment that actually was helpful up in the, um, but the higher bust area, but going down more towards the waist, it just, did not fix any kind of drag lines or anything like that. And so because this is a very fluid and drapey fabric, you can't really see the drag lines, but it's very awkward. Um, I think that is the nature of the pattern coming out of the envelope. I don't know exactly how to fix that. I've tried, like I said, um, the full bust adjustment. It didn't fix it. I tried uh, shortening the pit or not shortening, sorry, lengthening pattern that didn't fix it. I tried, I tried a number of different things and I just can't figure out where these drag lines are coming from. So like I said, it's, um, a loose fitting top. So you can't really see the drag lines, um, unless you actually point them out. So I'm not really concerned about it as much. And I really do like the style and the fit of the garment. So I'm not complaining about it. I just, it's just for the life of me, I can't figure out how to get rid of those drag lines. But other than that, I really like this garment. I like the first garment as well, but this one is my favorite. I really love it. It's my festive um, Thanksgiving top. I really like this fabric. It is uh, a fabric that I purchased from fabric.com. It has all these gorgeous leaves on 
the face of the fabric and the background is black. I just absolutely love this fabric. It's just so festive and so, so wonderful. Now the pattern says that you need five buttons going down the center front and I do have five buttons going down the center front of the vol. But remember that version was not lengthened. This version was lengthened by one and a half inches. So I had to add an extra button. So this one has six buttons on it. And then also for this version, I did the long sleeve for both versions. But for this version, I decided to put elastic in the sleeve instead of putting a cuff on or anything like that. And that's another thing. I had to lengthen this sleeve by an inch as well. So the pattern was a little bit too short. So like with the elastic on the sleeve and everything, the sleeve actually comes to my wrist, but that's only because I lengthened the sleeve by an inch. So the first version, I didn't lengthen the sleeve at all. I just put the cuff on, but it still is a little bit too short, even with the cuff on. So I would definitely make sure that I keep that length. You know, I lengthen it by that one inch. I'll definitely make sure that I keep that length on there. So those are um, pretty much Every, that's those are the adjustments that I pretty much did with both of these garments. Like I said, it was the sloping shoulder adjustment. I lengthened the garment by one and a half inches for the second version. I also um, lengthened the sleeve. And yeah, that's basically it. I really love this. I really, really do. It's really simple, easy. Um, I love the collar on it now the pattern tells you to the pattern tells you to stitch the stitch make a stitching line next to your buttonholes and stuff but i didn't do any of that i decided to just under stitch and leave it and just just keep it like that but yeah this is a very comfortable wear really fun blouse to wear and i really enjoyed sewing both these versions that I have made and I can't wait to get some wear out of it. Now for my vol version, um, I actually have this as a matching set because it goes with that skirt, that tear skirt that I made last month. So I'm really excited that I have a matching set out of that. And I'm just, I'm just thrilled. I'm so excited to have that matching set. And I have all these different matching sets that I've made this year. So uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a video on matching sets and how I create my matching sets and what I look for when I'm creating my matching sets, all that good stuff. So I'm really, really excited excited like I said about um, all of these uh, little projects that I have been making throughout the year so overall I really do like the patina blouse it is really comfortable to wear it's very easy to make because you have the button closure I would definitely say this would be for intermediate sewers but it is really easy to sew up so anyway that was my experience sewing the patina blouse I hope you all enjoyed the review if you have any additional questions or things that you want to ask me about this particular make just go ahead and make sure that you drop me a line or two in the comment section below all right friends so that does it for today's video thank you so much for tuning in to the channel today if you enjoyed yourself please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and if you like my content and you like this channel please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can receive notifications of all my videos when I post them I hope you all have a blessed and happy Wednesday and until next time stay creative bye